been a long and somewhat sorry tale for the captain's project boat, the appropriately named Nub Tub. We paid about nine grand for this boat. Um, we got it from down Geelong way. Um, we headed down, cash in hand, fishing rods in the other hand. The whiting were on. The only thing that's stopping us from getting amongst it was just, just buying this boat. We'd always wanted a 445. Um, we hear great things about it. Our father-in-law used to tell us about hand lining 50 kilo yellowfin over the side. It was probably a five kilo jelly bean. It doesn't matter. We wanted one. They looked cool as fuck. And we thought, we're gonna get one. So we rocked up. It looked beautiful. It was advertised with new floor, new glasswork, transom solid. Oh, we, we were in love. How many, how many times have you heard this story? So anyway, we paid the money. We were into the whiting. We slayed the fish. We had an awesome time. Um, we thought we've got our dream boat. This, of course, was a project boat. So we offloaded the Suzuki 65 two-stroke. We love the smell of that two-stroke in the morning, but um, it used more fuel than a V8 supercar, so it was gone. We got two and a half grand for that, and the owner was happy as. We've got plans for a 90 horsepower Suzy four-stroke to go on the back, which is probably twice as heavy as the original motor. So we'll see how that goes for us. We offloaded the trailer as well. That was an old sales, sales trailer. Not a bad trailer, but it's now rolling on a trans-style alloy I-beam trailer with stainless brake system. Um, it's probably the best trailer ever to sit under a 445, and we, we plan on taking it to every corner of Australia. Now this is the console going back into the nub tub, the captain's 445. This is built by Nath down at Boat Box down in Warrywood. Uh, it's the perfect size, it's much bigger than the original. Uh, it's got a little seat on the front which will turn into a little esky. Um, it's got a heap of room to accommodate all our gear. We'll probably build this up a little bit to accommodate a couple of, um, a couple of Simrads as well. We have a new motor planned, we've got the new trailer. Life was perfect and it was pretty much downhill from there. So when the, when the console came up, I could get a better sort of feel for the floor and there's a couple of soft spits, uh, soft spots. So I, I got the screwdriver out, just had a little feel. Then it went to a grinder. Then there was pretty much a chainsaw stage. The whole thing was fucked. Every stringer was, was pretty well wet. Um, it's a real shame really, like who the fuck would put a brand new floor over uh, rotten stringers, but it wasn't the first and it probably won't be the last, but yeah. Thanks for that. Good, good sell, mate. Good sell. Hope you're doing well with your new KDM, your new KDM 400. Anyway, we uh, we put the call out. We got Josh, a mate of ours, who's a sh shipwright. He came down with grinders in every size. There was pinch bars, there was saws, rotisserie saws, uh, but there was some real skill there. Like we tried to have a hack at it ourselves. It was it was it was, <laughs> it was pretty debaucherous affair. It was pretty ugly, but with some finesse and some talent and some choice tools. Um, which you can read about in, in, in The Captain. Uh, Josh, Josh had it stripped out in no time. So we pretty much bought this boat, nine grand, we've taken everything from it, and we're pretty much left with, we're pretty much left with the gel coat on this boat. We thought, what the hell do we do now? So we put out a little plea out, out via The Captain, and Eric from White Pointer Boats down in, in, um, down in Can River, he, uh, he obviously felt sorry for us. We clearly got him at a, uh, at a weak moment. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's, he's regretting the phone call that he made, but he rang up, he said, bring your sorry asses down here and bring that useless old piece of junk. So here we are.